In today's video, we're pitting the best Yu-Gi-Oh! 5D sets against each other. What's up guys, we're back with another opening video where we are opening not just the two special editions you saw in the intro, which was two of the classics, Duelist Genesis, Crossroads of Chaos. In these sets are some of the most beautiful cards you've ever seen, the Ghost Rare, Black Rose, and Stardust. We're also opening Ancient Prophecy for the Ancient Fairy Dragon, as well as Stardust Overdrive for the Majestic Star Dragon. So this is going to be a four-way battle between all these sets. We have three special editions each, so 12 total. Three Duelist Genesis, three Crossroads, three Stardust, and three Ancient Prophecy. It's going to be an insane battle. We will have a score on the screen of what they pulled, you know, price-wise, and we'll see who wins at the end. So put your votes down below who you think is gonna win this battle between these four sets. Before that, we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away these token cards all you have to do is like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, and let me know down below who will win the battle, as I just mentioned. So as you can see, a lot of special editions. I'm going to move them to the side and go one by one, but just know there are 12 special editions in this video. It's going to be very exciting. So let's get to it. Let's not waste any more time. We have the Ancient Prophecy special editions here we go i'm excited about this video these special editions are not cheap anymore none of these are especially the duelist genesis and crossroads but in general none of these are very cheap let's see what the promo is that could add some value solar recharge what's the one that has the uh red eyes wyvern is it this one or is it stardust overdrive either way that they're both going to be pretty valuable additions if you can pull some of those to the total of the you know the, the grand total of what they pull that definitely counts the promo one, two, three from the back. Flippity flop, floppity flip. We haven't opened a bunch of special editions. We did do uh, the Lewis opening at uh, Collecticon, so I did do the Stardust opening there. But uh, in terms of like opening here at the studio, I haven't done a ton of special editions recently. So I'm excited to open this stuff up. This is always really fun because like Ultimate Rare Potential, Secret Rare Potential, Ghost Rare Potential, old, but not like too old you know where it's like super super expensive but it's so much fun the ghost rares i mean you can't top pulling a ghost rare it is so beautiful it really screams at you once it you know pops out you're like oh my gosh a ghost rare you know because you see that crazy foil jester lord and sort of sparkles so far not a great start for ancient prophecy i don't know i mean solar recharge maybe is a dollar but with all the reprints this pack is already open is there a crimp card there might be a crimp card it seems like there probably is uh yep there's a little cramp there which oh no i think that's okay it's not the foil okay it's just a common I, if it was this one it was one away from being the foil silver wing a crimped ghost though would go pretty hard i'm not gonna lie that would be pretty insane uh black wing mister we have water hazard but i could brain research lab the dark sea float curry bond and a battle teleportation which one was the crimp card the brain research lab got a little crimp to it so that one got a little bite to it <laughs> all right first one here's the score that's probably zero i'm not 100 sure maybe the solar recharge was over a dollar we'll see also while we are opening up the special edition i want to remind you guys to hit that subscribe button because we are less than 5,000 away from the every pack opening at 250k it is flying honestly it is flying it's kind of crazy how fast we are uh we're getting there so i'm very excited it's coming up very, very soon. I'm guessing maybe even like a month from now, maybe a little bit more than that. Uh, so pretty big. There is a charge of light brigade, nice card. So hit that sub button, make it make it show up even quicker. We have a lot of stuff planned. It's going to be a really, really amazing week of openings. It's gonna be super sick. The 250K special, get excited. If you have not been here for one of our specials, you're a newer viewer. They're usually pretty fun. They're usually pretty fun. We do some big stuff, so. Well, let's go. And if you guys want to support the channel, don't forget to check out Ruxin34.com uh, and subscribe, of course. But that is another way you can support the channel. Here we go. Let's pull something big. So far, we're not pulling anything. Swap Frog maybe is worth something. That could be a little bit because of Edison. And, uh, you know, frogs are always somewhat relevant in, in one regard or another. So maybe that's maybe that's a dollar. Who knows? We'll see about... Pulling a foil would be great, right? <laughs> pulling something would be great. We have Gemini Booster. So far, it's a slow start. But we have 12 special editions to open. This is only number two, so we got a long way to go. Dijin. Oh, there we go. Majestic Dragon. This got a reprint. Okay, I knocked over some cards earlier. I didn't notice. It's got a reprint, so it was like a $10 super. I bet it's still a couple of bucks. So that probably is maybe her first score of the day. All right, last pack for Stardust Overdrive. Well, last pack for now. I mean, we'll be back for more later. This is only special edition one. One crimp card so far, one super rare so far. So there's, there's been a little action. Hasn't been completely dead. 
Earthbound Wave, we have Attack Pheromones, a pointer of the Red Lotus. He's appointing, that's for sure. Quick Draw, we have Zero Gardener and Ritual Buster. Okay, so the, the Quick Draw is cool for Edison, but it's not crazy. Okay, now for a really exciting one. So the Duelist Genesis Crossroads, I have not pulled either of those Ghost Rares in Unlimb or First Dead. So pulling just the Unlimb would be insane. I'm not gonna just I'm not gonna destroy you guys and just rip this thing open like a maniac. Though I have done that before, and it, it can be fun. It can be like liberating, just like not worry about it. Just destroy that thing. There's an ill blood at the back, okay. But at the same time, it's a little bit savage. This looks like a Euro pack, from what I can tell. Based on the being wrapped up and the color of the pack, and yeah, the crimp looks like Euro. Maybe Euro Ghost is the way to go. I'd be okay with that. We have ill blood. It'd be cool to compare it to a North American ghost because I do have one on hand let's just let just show these off while, while i have this so this one is actually going to be a giveaway by the way for next week's whatnot stream if you guys haven't checked out the next whatnot stream we're opening first edition duelist genesis so if we don't pull it today we get another chance well even if we do pull it today we want to get the first dead this is one of the best looking cards ever this is just the unlimb it's kind of insane this is going to be a giveaway so make sure you go follow me on whatnot we're doing that at 15k we're like 14.9 so go get us to 15k real quick it's going to be really insane and uh, you can get $15 free credit while you uh, or if you're a first time user. So I'm also going to show you guys the Black Rose, which we have for sale on Ruxin34.com. This one's in really great shape. Really pretty, really pretty. So let's just show off some potential of what we could get here. So, yeah, reminder, go check out Whatnot. Link in the description. And uh, yeah, you could potentially win a Stardust for free. Like that's going to be a free giveaway international and everything. So gonna be awesome i'm excited i mean there is nothing i don't know if there is a better card than the uh black rose and stardust ghost Rays. those might be the best two Yu-Gi-Oh cards ever printed in terms of how they look it's gonna be hard to top those so i would love to pull one one day and I, since you know maybe when i'm opening for myself like right now i'm opening some packs for myself i would love to pull those put them in the collection you know they'd be the perfect addition to go into my binder but it looks like that's not gonna happen right there pack two come on crossroads crossroads i want i would like to crossroads with a ghost rare how about you iron chain coil jing it's except lotus iron chain we have confusion chaff copy plant titan oh wait because it's euro it's a different pack trick oh titanial princess of camellias that's our first hit out of crossroads that's going to be something because of edison should be a few bucks on that one maybe like three four could be a little more. You never know with Edison people. It can be crazy. So that's pretty sick. You don't have to do the flippity flop with Euro, it seems like. Nice pull. Ulti would act be pretty expensive in that, even unlimited. I think it'd probably be like a $30, $40 card if I had to guess. And knowing Edison, it could be 100 for all I know. We'll do three from the back. We have Iron Chain Coil. Come on. Bamboo Scrap Factory of 100 Machines. Copy Plant. Gadget Hauler. Morphtronic Accelerator. We have Puppet Master. Wait, so it's four from the back? I'm so confused by this. Okay, Puppet Master, that's another foil. Back to back, I don't know if Puppet Master is gonna be money or not. So here's the score now after three special editions. I think Crossroads is probably ahead because Titanium is a pretty good card. Now for the biggest one we have, the Duelist Genesis. Ah, <sighs> One day we are going to be blessed with that Ghost Rare. It, it, will we pull the Ghost Rare Stardust or the Magia first? You, <laughs> what do you guys think? Technically, we've been searching for Stardust longer, just we probably haven't opened as many packs. I would say definitely, actually. We definitely have not opened 2,000 whatever packs of uh, Duelist Genesis. So we have opened a lot because it's just been a long time of opening for the set. We have a Heraclinos. That is not the better one. All right, three packs let's keep it going duelist genesis give us something amazing please and that there, there's really just there's really one thing it's a, the stardust if it's a if it's an ultra i wouldn't be mad if it's a ulti i'd be happy if it's a ghost i'd be like over the moon you know i mean ulti i would be really happy actually more than just happy it would be insane tricky spell four we have big pierce golem recycling batteries also getting a uh charge light brigade would be big too Oh my gosh, two packs left. And then we're done with the first round. We still got two more rounds after this, which is pretty insane to think about. So a lot more potential. All we need is one pack for something big. If we pull one ghost here, it's gonna be big. Imagine if we pulled all four. Oh, so you don't have to do flippy flop on this either. Interesting, Psychic Overload, that's an Ultra. That's a bad Ultra though, but it is a foil, so we'll take it. One more pack, Psychic Overload, Ultra. Hey, look, we're getting our feet wet with some Ultra Rares. That's good, that's good. Okay, so I'm gonna just try three then. I'm gonna try three. We have Remote Revenge. I feel like, I don't know, maybe it changed after these two sets. K Telekinetic Sorcerer, because I'm pretty sure it's right for the other two sets. Junk Barrage, okay, all right. Not too crazy, let's get back to Angel Prophecy. We are now on to round two. 
The score is pretty low at this point. Nobody's taken a significant lead. Nobody's pulled way ahead. It's kind of a close match. Let's see if we can get, I think this is the one that has the red eyes. No, not that time, but it would be nice if we could get that because that's a pretty expensive card. I think like eight bucks or something, which is a lot for a promo. Okay, Ancient Prophecy, one of the better, uh, this and Stardust Overdrive, we've had really good luck with. I mean, Stardust Overdrive, probably the best because I've pulled both the Unlimited Ghost a couple of times as well as the uh, the Christia as well. So I've had crazy luck with that set. I've read really good with luck with Ancient Prophecy as well because we pulled the ghost like four times. So there's that. There just isn't a, like a Christia in this set, you know, to like really match up with Quacky Mirror Tornado and a Quacky Mirror Golongulate, another ultra rare. All right, now we're just looking for those high rarity cards. We're getting some ultra rares. Very nice, we'll take that. Let's see about pack two. Pack two of this special edition, we have a uh, Battle Teleportation. We have Advanced Draw, Fairy Wind, Ruxin Special, Core Blaster, get that workout in. The Quacky Mirror Speeder. And Spirit Burner, burning that spirit. Let's burn that spirit a little bit hotter and get lucky with an amazing pull. Uh oh, upside down card. Upside down card, guys. What does that mean? Ancient Prophecy, will you bless us with something big? Can we get our first high rarity card? of the opening Ragagura turbo rocket and Gaia plate the earth giant and I will look guys we're gonna get the price right this time okay we're not gonna put 90 bucks it's an unlimited so it's like 28 or whatever it was last time and I won't say it's a cheap card because apparently it's now 28 dollars and unlimited people were very upset about that last time so what happened last time is we had an error we accidentally put the first edition price so it was it said 90 on the screen and I'm saying ah not a great ulti doesn't have very not very expensive and people were so mad, like, $90 isn't a lot? Like, so I'm like, guys, look, $90 is a lot. It's actually 28, which is still a lot for an ulti, unlimited. I just thought it was a $5 ulti. <laughs> like, it used to be a $5 ulti. That's why I said that. It's not anymore, though, apparently. So uh, that's still, a, that's our best pull for sure. That's a really, really good pull so far. Another charge. We're getting the same cards over and over. So glad to clear that up, you know, uh, not so you guys know what happened. But uh, that's a really good pull. 28 bucks last I checked, which was, you know, pretty recently, whenever that video was when we pulled those. I guess we opened a couple of special editions in when we purchased the collection or something, I think is what happened. So yeah, pretty nice pull. We'll take that. Let's see if we can get a Majestic Star Dragoon. Dark Rabbit, that used to be money. I don't know if it still is. And Infinity Necromancer. And by money, I mean a dollar, you know. A dollar plus counts as money to me, okay? It counts as money. You know, that's that's something. It's worth a little bit. Flippity flop, floppity flip. Can we get a Ghost Rare when we rip? Part of the cards, give me uh, give me a hit or whatever that, that new edition is. We have Ritual Grace. Fortune Lady Dark, that used to be money too, or is that the other one? I can't remember Dark Spot. I think I say that every time, and that's not the money one. Last pack for the second Ancient Prophecy. This will be the halfway point of six special editions opened. We are pulling pretty well so far. There's a damage on that back right there. See if we can pull a Ghost Rare right here. Energy Bravery, come on. We've already got an ulti out of one. That's pretty solid. Bending Destiny, we have Catablapas, okay, the Witch, and Limit Impulse. Okay, we got an ulti. Can't complain about that one. Let's keep it going with Crossroads of Chaos. Can we get a nice special edition? Okay, these really not great promos. Probably the worst promos of the three. Illblood's cool, but not exactly incredible in terms of value. Okay, Euro special edition. Let's get you open. Let's take the Illblood out. We've had doubles on every promo, I think, so far. We haven't had any uh, variants. Speaking of variants, I know what I would like to have a little variance for the Crossroads of Chaos Ghost Rare. We have Gigantic Cephalotus. Botanical Girl, Plague Spreader is great as well. We have pulled that before, but I would be down to pull that once. I think I pulled like twice, actually. We have Power Injector, Search Striker, Synchro, Strike. So Striker and Strike, Agent Striker, Wolverine. All right, one, two, three, Ghost Rare time. Beautiful Black Rose, make your appearance. It could, this will be in the top 25 pulls of the year for sure if we get it. We have Morphtronic because that would be a really amazing pull, even an unlimited. Last pack magic for this special edition. I guess we have a lot of last pack magics this time, but not last pack magic for Crossroads. I still believe there'll be something big in here. You got to hold on to what we've got. All right, Corby, we have Copy Plant. We have Fragrant Storm, Stormcaller. Psychic Jumper, man. The Crossroads is brutal right now. Here's the score. I don't think Crossroads has really pulled anything. Oh, no, they pulled Titanium. So I guess they have pulled something. Okay, 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 okay. You know what can make up for that? A Stardust Dragon right now. You know what else wouldn't be bad? A Magical Android. Those things are expensive as heck and super rare. So 
Throw that in with a little uh, ulti, ulti, um, what, no, no, secret rare charge of light brigade, ghost rare stardust. I mean, that would be a legendary special edition right there. Three different rarities too. That could be insane. Let's do it right now. Let's make it happen. Send me some luck in the comments, guys. Let's pull this before we pull Mejia. Why not? Why not? Let's just do that. We have Dr. Cranium, Remote Revenge, Book of Eclipse, Quill Bolt Hedgehog, Singer Deflector, Mega Bunny, Gravel Blocker, and Psychic Commander. He's commanding us to pull something good. And guess what? Right now, we are not. I mean, we have pulled Gaia Plate, so that's not bad. But in terms of total value, we're going to need something bigger than that to help make back some of this cost. It'd be pretty sick. One, two, three. And if it's a ghost rare, it's not going to help us make back any cost because I'm just going to hang on to it. <laughs> Drinky spell. I'm just going to have it in my binder. So it's not really going to. Well, I guess I could replace, sell a replacement or something, but it's always hard to sell Stardust and uh, Black Rose, even though I am selling one of them right now. Giving one away, that definitely hurts a little bit. But I was like, look, people will be people will be hyped about that giveaway. So I was like, you know what? It's worth it. Somebody could win a ghost rare. I mean, how fun is that? One, two, three from the back. We have the Jute Fighter, Psy Impulse. Beast of the Pharaoh, Space Gate, Ghost Gardener, Noisy Nananananant, Sword of Kusanagi. I cannot pull these cards, Trap of Darkness. We are on a cold streak. Those uh, Crossroads and, and Duel's Genesis were not great there. Last round, here we go. The score will be on the screen right now of what is happening. It seems like right now we are not exactly killing it in terms of total value. I think Ancient Prophecy's got a pretty big lead because it's like a 25 plus to $30 card is definitely a huge lead over what everybody else has. Though a Ghost Dragon turned that around very quickly. And there we go, that's what we want. Wyvern, that's gonna add more to the lead. I think that's like a six to $8 card, which is really, really strong for a promo. And in general, like, I mean, most of them probably don't even have $6 on their total score. It'd be really nice to get three of those, but that's fine. I'm gonna put it in my Edison box. That'll be cool. I think I need a lot more Wyverns. I only have like maybe two right now. That'll be three, I think. Flamvel Counter, Sunny Pixie, Core Blast to get that workout in. Ancient Leaf, we have Arcana Triumph Joker. No, Arcana Night Joker. Arcana Triumph Joker is the newer one. And Jester Confit, that's a couple bucks as well, I think. Used to be like 10. I don't know if it's still that high. I've did it get a reprint? Maybe it didn't. So it might actually be that high. That's a pretty good pull. That's a pretty good pull, Ancient Prophecy. I don't I don't mind you doing that, pulling some crazy cards. Let's keep it up. Okay, we got a super sedance pull, like a secret or something. We have, I think I did a weird pack trick there. We have the Ragagura, Dark Sea Float, Silver Wing, Lugia. Or, yep, I did something weird there. Battle Teleportation and Mistral, the Silver Shield. La the official last pack of Ancient Prophecy. This is nine total packs. We pulled an ulti. We pulled, did we pull an ultra in here? We pulled a super for sure. I don't know if we pulled a anything else besides that. Let's see. Major Upset, Fish Park. I'm Rux especially in these every time. Uh, Sunny Pixie, Quackamere Hydro Barrier, Boulder, Iron Core Luster, Pseudo Space, and Saber Slash, another super rare, not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, that's a strong performance from Ancient Prophecy. Anytime you get like probably 40 bucks back, I mean, that's really strong. So it's going to be hard to beat. I mean, they're going to need a, I think probably an ulti, a nice secret, or a ghost rare from these others to take the lead. And Stardust Overdrive, you know, obviously Archlord Christia, the ghost rare, Majestic Star, probably the ulti Majestic Star. I don't know what the value of ulti Majestic Star is. Three charge of Light Brigade. I mean, it's not a bad card. What are the other options? Yeah, that's better than Tempest Magician, that's for sure. Okay, three packs, let's go. If you guys have enjoyed the video, don't forget to sub sub subscribe. Every time I say that, I cannot say it. Don't forget to subscribe, there we go. Hit that sub button, we are almost at 250K. It's going to be insane, I cannot wait. Synchro Barrier, opening every pack is so much fun. I get to do it for a third time, how crazy is that? That's insane. One time we didn't record everything. The second time, everything went pretty smoothly, but our pulls weren't incredible. They were still pretty good, but they weren't like the best. So I'm hoping we can record everything and then just crush the pulls this time. If you guys want to watch those old videos, there's some of my, 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 my man, what was that? My, 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 my most watched videos. So you can go find them there. Uh, or you can just search opening every Yu-Gi-Oh pack. I'm struggling to speak right now. That's all I can say. I have to stream after this. This is going to be hard. This is going to be hard to talk. That's all I got to say. Last pack of Stardust Overdrive. I have a feeling Stardust Overdrive is not going to pull this out unless they get something big right here. Going to need something big to turn this around because Stardust Overdrive, you ain't done much. That's all I got to say. Time passage. We have time. I, You know, here's the problem. I'm speaking too quickly. And you know what that means? I'm going to get some emails about talking too much. Rinian, Gateway the Six. That's actually a money card. It's like a few dollars. So good, but not good enough. Okay, Crossroads of Chaos. Here we go. Do your thing, Crossroads of Chaos. We believe in you. 
We believe you, Woody. Let's do this. Let's make this happen. Let's pull something big, because last time we went 0 for 3, so that's not great. I cannot put this back in the box. Yeah, this little window makes it harder. Okay. Ill blood again. Man, what is up with getting the same one every time? The Was the only one that changed so far? We got one wyvern, so that changed it up. We've had three out of three on the other two. That's kind of strange. Crossroads of chaos. Here we go. Three from the back. Morphtronic. We have Selfon, Decoy Squad, Generator, Deception, Poison Chain, Pursuit Chaser, Pride for Roar. Come on, baby. <sighs> Okay, all right, all right. These are really holding back on us. Crossroads of Chaos, come on, buddy. Come on, buddy, be a little better. Be a little better here. Come on, just something good. Something good, come on. Ulti Blake Spreader, Ulti Black Rose, Ulti Ghost Rare Black Rose. Those would be all be huge, come on. Urgent Tuning, that's a super. We just can't even get a Synchro to tease us. Last pack of Crossroads of Chaos. Gonna need something big. Gonna need something big. You basically only add Titanium. That's like your big pull. <sighs> psychic Jumper. A little Psychic guy. He looks like a zombie, though. Bamboo Scrap. Iron Core. Nettles. Seeds of Deception. We have Cameran. Cactus Fighter. Iron Chain Snake. All right. Last. That, that was a fail for Crossroads. Here's the score right now. I think it comes down to if the Duelist Genesis can pass ancient prophecy or not it seems like ancient prophecy is gonna win i bet ancient prophecy at the beginning of the video had like the least amount of picks people did not pick ancient prophecy unless you're ex gamer he probably picked he probably picked ancient prophecy i'm not counting you guys who watched the whole video and then commented but i bet you guys at the beginning were like star you know duels genesis crossroads maybe even some, some stardust overdrive i feel like that was like the oh okay there's a different one this is like an upset big time for ancient prophecy to pull this out but it's not over yet Three packs left, guys. If we get an ulti Stardust or Ghost Stardust or even maybe an Ultra Stardust or, you know, some combination of Magical Android or Charger Light Brigade, I think that could really win this. So let's see how this goes. Medium Peace Golem, Jung Barrage, a quest, Recycling Batteries, Quill Bolt Hedgehog, Ghost Gardener, Telekinetic Charging Cell, Unstable Evolution. I always pull that one every time in Super. Okay. Two packs left of the opening. Don't forget to check out Ruxin34.com if you haven't already. If you want to pick up something cool, I have a lot of very cool items. We've added a few new singles there uh, just this week, so go check that out. If you guys want to support the channel, and here we go. Two packs left. Can we get something big to take the lead? There's a Krebons. Something amazing. We have Noisy Nat. Give us an amazing... Oh, yeah. Go Yo Guardians in here. That'd be sick. Okay. Oh, or e Telly. I forgot about e Telly. Ultimate Red. Okay, this just got a reprint and seven reprints in rarity. So I'm guessing the price is a little down, but that could be enough to win it. That is a beautiful looking card. That could be enough to win it. The original ulti, not the prismatic ultimate rare. That is a beautiful card. Wow, just one more look at that. That is sick. Okay, nice pull. Now let's follow that up with something to, to put the nail in the coffin, right? I don't know if it's over or not yet. It's probably pretty close, unless that's like it's still a $90 card or something. But I think last I checked, it was like around 40, 50. And so that'll make it close. And that was kind of before the big, uh, the big um, uh, reprints. So we'll see if this last pack can really put it away. Telepathic power. We have Trap of Darkness. Here we go. Last pack magic, guys. Here we go. Send some luck. Light wave tuning. Okay. That's still an amazing pull, though. And here is the final score. Let me know in the comments. Who you thought had the best polls, even if you don't agree with the prices. And don't forget to subscribe for 250k. Shout out to Toe Info Show, Ernesto Deanna, America Deutscher, Brandon Chaney, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Robert F. Chengalang, and Aldelsa Garcia Jr. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.